police is there. Upon the lofty throne, I saw a man seated, whom a host of an angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most bravest fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what we must done, and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of first book of Samuel. There was a certain man from Ramathium, Ilkeno by name, a sophite from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jehoram, son of Eliu, son of Tohu, son of Saf, an Ephraimite. He had two wives one named Hannah, and the other, Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah was childless. This man regularly went on pilgrimage from a city to worship the Lord of hosts and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hathnai and Penehas, was ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came for Elkanah to offer sacrifice, he used to give a portion each to his wife, Penina, and to all her sons and daughters, but the double portion to Hannah, because he loved her. But the Lord had made her barren. Her rival to upset her turned it into a constant reproach to her that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year. Each time they made, made their pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord. Penina would approach her, and Hannah would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband, Elkanah, used to ask her, Hannah, why do you weep? And why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? Am I not more to you than ten sons? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. 
My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your reeds, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Please stand. of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. They, then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther, and saw James the son of Zebedee and his brother John. They too were on a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hard men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Parang kontento na sa kanilang buhay ang mga mga kapatid na sa na Simon Pedro, Andres, Juan at Santiago kapagkat sila'y nabubuhay ng marangal. Maayos ang pakikitungo sa kanilang mga kasamahan. At pag ganito ang takbo ng buhay ng isang tao, kahit hindi ka sagana sa material na bagay, ikaw ay masaya ikaw ay kontento. Napaka-importante yung ikaw ay kontento sa buhay. Ngunit, mayroong ibang plano ang Diyos para sa kanila. Kahit na mayroon silang sariling pangarap, mayroon ding mas magandang plano ang Diyos. Kaya, sa isang Pagkakataon ay nabago agad ang buhay ng mga magkakapatid. Napadaan lamang si Jesus at nakita niya ang una ang magkapatid na si Sina Simon Pedro at Andres at kanyang inimbitahan, sumama kayo sa akin. Ganon din ang magkapatid na si Juan at Santiago. Sumama kayo sa akin. Ito'y bigla ang pagbabago ng takbo ng buhay. Ngunit alam nila na hindi sila pababayaan ng Panginoon Diyos. Na kahit kanilang tinalikdan ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay, ang kanilang mga magulang, ang kanilang kabuhayan, alam nila na mayroong mas magandang buhay na nag-aantay para sa kanila. Kahit maraming hirap, 
panganib ang nagbabadya. Nangingibabaw pa rin ang tiwala na si Jesus ay hindi sila pababayaan. Naniwala ang mga magkakapatid sa pangako ni Jesus na sila ay maging instrumento, maging katuwang niya sa pagpapalaganap ng mabuting balita. At ito ninawa ang ating panghahawakan sa ating pang-araw-araw na pamumuhay na tayo'y maniwala sa kaluuban ng Diyos na kahit tayo'y mayroong pag-aalinlangan, mangibabaw nawa ang ating tiwala sa Diyos na nagkaloob sa atin ng lahat sapagkat mas alam niya ang nakakabuti. Mas alam niya kung ano ang pinakamaganda para sa atin. Ang hiniling lamang ng ating Panginoon ay ang taus-usong pagsunod sa kaniyang kaluuban. Pagtanggap sa kaluuban ng Diyos at ang lahat ay magiging mabuti dahil sinisigurado ni Jesus sa samahan niya tayo. Hindi niya tayo pababayaan. Kahit daming maraming hirap ang dinanas ng mga apostolis, hindi sila sumuko sapagkat nangingibabaw ang kanilang paninang paniniwala na si Jesus ay kasama nila palagi. Ito din ang pangako ng Diyos sa atin hanggat tinatanggap natin siya na ating Panginoon at tagapagligtas. Hindi niya tayo iiwanan. Palagi niya tayong gagabayan hanggat ating marating ang buhay sa kaniyang kaharian. We all stand now for the prayers of the faithful. As a people chosen by God, let us present before our Father the needs of all peoples. In every petition we shall answer, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors called by God to be fishers of men may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now in the silence of our hearts, we pray for the intentions of this Mass and for our personal intentions. Lord our God, make us fit to carry out any task you wish us to do by the strength of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Jesus, feed us now, give us life, save us. 
And does your spirit, the source of our lives, and together we will serve you with love. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly intuit through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy, Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise Your Majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Dominic de Guzman, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. 
Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray, Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations. Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Almighty and God our Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.